water milking vineyard family therapy. Good morning and welcome to Vineyards Family Service. This morning we will be looking at Joshua and finding a little bit out about him. He listened to God. He was a very, very special man. Before we do that, let's all worship together. Let's stand in our families and let's worship God. Pushing through the fear God we need your presence God we need you here You are with us Fighting for us We can lay our worries down Even when we Stand in shadows We are standing on hope To be strong, be brave, be courageous. Be strong, be brave, be courageous. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for this morning. Thank you that you are always with us. I thank you that you help us to be brave. I thank you that you help us to listen and hear your voice. Amen. We're now going to listen to a story, a video actually, um, all about Joshua. So sit back and have a listen and then hopefully as families you'll be able to answer some questions about this video so watch carefully this is joshua oh hey joshua was the leader of the israelites who god used to bring his people to the promised land yeah let's do it when god told joshua it was time to take the promised land joshua sent spies into the city of jericho While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. The 
spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Now the Israelites had crossed the Jordan and were camped near the town of Jericho. Hey! Uh -oh. One day, Joshua looked up, huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello. The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho, All right. but that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, well, huh? yeah, well. No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers and march around the city for six days. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout and then the city walls would fall. Oh, yeah, let's do it. So Joshua said, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! And the walls did fall. Let's go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. Rahab. They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would. Oh, nice. For God will never fail to fulfill his promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago. Well, I hope you're ready for a few questions after watching that now. So the first question, who looked after the spies? Second question, what did God want Joshua to do? Third question. How many days did they march around the city for? Hopefully you're doing really well and you've got these all right so far. And what actually happened on the seventh day? And then at the end of the story, what happened? I find it amazing at the end of that story that the Israelites came to live in the land that had been promised to them by God many, many years ago. And those promises have come true. And Joshua was so faithful in listening and acting upon God's calling. Watch out next. We're going to have a go at a little challenge now. We're going to have a go to see whether we can build some towers. Right then, this is our challenge. We are going to have a go at using our spaghetti and marshmallows to build a tall tower. I wonder if you can do that. Now, it always takes me a while. I have broken my spaghetti in half because I always think it's too long when you try and build a tower. Remember... When you're building a tower, you need a solid base, a solid foundation to begin on. And that's what I'm doing. I would love to see some of these pictures of your spaghetti and marshmallow towers when you have completed them. Send them in to Maria at Melton Vineyard or just WhatsApp 
them to me. I would love to see them. That's the start of mine. I am sure yours is going to be stronger, taller and better than mine. So today we've been thinking about the story of Joshua and particularly about how brave and courageous he was and how he listened to and obeyed what God was asking him to do. And that's how he won the big battle that he was facing. So in our family prayer time today, um, we're going to think about three questions to help us remember the story and think about what it might mean for us today. And we have made some brick shapes out of card and we're going to write or draw on these shapes what the answers are to our questions and then we can put them on the wall and make a prayer wall. So our first question that we're going to think about is what do I need God's help to be strong and courageous for? So Sam you're going to answer this one. I would like God's help to I would like God to help me stay strong and courageous during my move to secondary school. And so on my prayer brick, I have drawn a picture of my secondary school. That's great. So you can remember that God is there to help you to be strong and courageous and yeah. brave when you go up to secondary school. That's good. So our next question is, what is the big battle that you're facing at the moment? Um, so I'm going to answer this one. I feel like the big battle that I'm facing at the moment is not to let worries get on top of me, but instead to keep trusting in God, keep remembering that God is in control. So what I've done on my brick here is I've done some little thought bubbles that say, don't let worries win and keep trusting God. That's going to remind me of that. And the third question is, what do we feel like God is asking us to do? do at the moment so Zach what, what have you put for that? God is asking me to be kind to people and to help people and not to be angry at them and I draw a picture of a homeless man on the road with a person coming up to him with a 10 pound note giving it to him. Show us your picture that's brilliant so that's going to help you remember it's a bit like the story of the Good Samaritan, isn't it? It's remembering to help people and to be kind to people. That's great. So we've made our bricks and uh, we've written down the answers to those questions. So you could do that at home. You could have a chat, have a pray, and why don't you have a go at making your own bricks? Thank you, Gillian, Sam and Zach for that brilliant prayer idea. I hope you've all been able to take part in that this morning. Well, this is our last activity this morning and we're going to make a bookmark. So you'll need a piece of card, a bit like the brick sizes really. And we're going to really focus on uh, a verse Josh from Joshua and it's Joshua 1 verse 9. And I've written Joshua 1 verse 9 on my bookmark and that's the verse that says about being strong and courageous do not be afraid okay do not be discouraged for the Lord your God is with you and I'm going to write that on my bookmark and then I do love stickers and I love glittery stickers so I'm going to decorate my bookmark because in the summer holidays I always seem to read more so I'm going to use this bookmark in my Bible. And in fact, I think I'm going to have a go at reading Joshua again, just to remind me of that story again. It's really important that we are reminded of stories inside the Bible. Even if we think we know those stories, they sometimes, when you read them again, something else springs out. So that's the start of my bookmark. I'm also going to write out the verse, be strong and courageous. So I'm going to leave you now to make your bookmark. Hopefully we'll see each other soon. Um, have a look in the bulletin this week because there are some summer activities happening and I would love to see you all there. <laughs>